Well, here we are back in Ilkley. Once again, I've teamed up with Mike Kane from All Seasons Exterior Cleaning. We're working on a large roof clean today. And when I say large, I really do mean that. This thing is enormous. It's a slate roof, not particularly dirty, but it is starting to get a little bit of moss here and there. And the homeowner's concerned that it might start to lift the tiles. And the other danger with moss is that if it freezes, it can lift the tiles even more. And being slate, of course, they're very fragile and could easily crack. My name's Paul Driver and I'm the owner of Jet Ready. We're known for exterior cleaning and restoration services and we love doing roof cleans. So the plan here is to give the area a really light pressure wash to free up the moss and then to finish off with a biocide treatment that'll kill any organic growth up there and provide some longevity to the clean. And these gutters are going to present quite an interesting challenge. No downpipes. And quite cleverly what happens with the rainwater is that it drips down these chains and into a soakaway. And down at the bottom of the garden, we've got this large beck. I know for a fact this comes from the moors and goes directly into the river. And that gives us an interesting problem. How are we going to collect the chemical runoff so it doesn't end up in the beck and eventually in the river? It's a delicate ecosystem because in the river wharf, we've now got otters and we don't want to be doing anything that's going to cause damage to the food chain. Uh, folks, look, these chains have got a shackle at the bottom, so we should be able to just disconnect them and uh, have it drip straight into the buckets. Can you lift it to that? Can you hover it? That's about right, isn't it? Well, so much for these fancy drain pipes. Uh, they don't bloom in work. But our fancy bucket system does work. But it is splashing around a little bit, so I'm going to fit some PVC gutter sleeves just to keep this under control. Uh, it's an absolute waterfall there now. Right, you can buy PVC gutter sleeves on uh, Amazon. Quite expensive. Oddly enough, if you search for PVC lay flat tubing, six inches, it's half the price. Exactly the same. So I'll get this chain on this side of the gutters now. I'll need my ladders to get up there though. Well, to say it was uh, quite a clean roof is a, a surprising amount of moss up there, actually. So I'm just going to use the pencil jet nozzle on my lance now to clean out the gutters. We're 
I'm just about to get started doing the bias side. I'm going to be brushing this on with a water fed pole, same kind of equipment used by a window cleaner. So I've just mixed up a solution of the bias side. That's in a window cleaner's backpack, which has got an electric pump in it, which will send the bias side up through the water fed pole and we'll brush it onto the roof. The biocide will kill dead any outstanding biofilm that's on the roof, giving it some longevity so it gets cleaner over time. And the product I'm using today is BioClear Pro from PureSeal. Right, as we can see, the pump's working there. So we've got the biocide coming out of the water-fed pole. So where I've got the gutter sleeves going into the bucket, I've just sent it out in the bucket. So anything that's in that bucket now is going to be runoff chemical. Mike's just uh, switching over the buckets down there. What we're going to do is take the um, waste chemical away and then we can dispose of it in a proper manner. Right, two thirds down, one third to go. So we've got that finished, uh, the rain held off, which is uh, a bonus, and um, yeah, good result. Well, we got finished in good time last night, and we're back nice and early this morning. Clear blue sky now, but there have been some early morning showers. And as can be seen, Mike's already well underway. So as mentioned yesterday, we collect all of the waste chemical from the temporary downpipes. We pour that into buckets and then decant it into drums. Now whilst we can't just go tip that waste or allow it to enter the drainage system, what we can do is use it up on the customer's premises. So what I'm going to do now is just put it down on this patio area and that'll start a fairly long-term self-cleansing action on these Indian sandstone flags. So there we are, we've given you a free patio clean as well, Mr. Customer. Oh, thank you very much. Mike absolutely killing it up there. What a professional. You missed a bit. Well, I've just got the scaffolding moved. Uh, when we surveyed this area yesterday, uh, we were really quite hopeful that we could work from the ground. But as we found doing the roof on the other side, uh, our water-fed pole equipment is only just long enough to get to the very top. It is a large roof when all said and done. We didn't think, however, we'd be able to get the scaffolding in between the retaining walls of the terrace and the gutters because it's very, very tight. But as you can see, we just managed to make it fit. I turn on the tower. Hardcore, oh, cool. good to clean him. Oh, 
very nearly completed the roof now with the flat surface cleaner but I thought I'd just pause here just for a bit of an explainer as we can see in this last little bit that's not being cleaned yet we've got quite a lot of moss here that's in between the tiles but even with the very best equipment we're not going to get every single little microfilament of moss out of there and we're likely going to be leaving spores behind and rhizoids as well rhizoids being the little anchor points that moss uses to attach to the surface well a whole plant can regrow from those and that's where the biocide comes in by applying the biocide we actually sterilize the entire roof we kill every last bit of organic life up there now of course once it's dead it can grow back but it's having to grow back from a completely blank canvas not because we've left remnants of the organisms on the roof the biocide leaves a bit of a residue which soaks into the surface and that provides a bit of longevity as well it reactivates when it gets wet so in the future when we get a bit of rain or damp air fog the chemical comes back to life and zaps anything that's just in the process of getting started again right time now for the biocide but first we need to get those gutter sleeves sorted out So that was a 265 square meter roof, two early starts and two early finishes. Matter of fact, today only three o'clock and we're done. Well, it's turned out really well and the slate tiles are absolutely gleaming now. And because we've treated it with a biocide, the roof will get cleaner and cleaner and cleaner as the weeks and months go by. But not only that, we've been able to clean down this really large terrace and patio with the recycled biocide that we captured with the gutter sleeves. Okay, folks, we're all done. So until next time, from Mike and myself, all the best to all of you.